Well, so what I have here is I have a polynomial, and on the polynomial I have a 0, 2i. So what I want to do is I want to find the remaining zeros of this polynomial given 1, 0 is 2i. And my students a lot of times ask me, they're like, all right, well, we understand what to do when you have one number, right? When I give you an integer as a zero, but what do you do when you have a complex number? And I say, easy, exact same thing. So how does that work? Well, we look at, we have a polynomial and then we have a zero, two i. So what I need to do, again, is use synthetic division. So I have two i. I'm going to create a little space because it might get a little long. Two, negative one, seven, negative four, negative 4. So all I'm simply going to do is just practice. Bring down the 2. 2 times 2i is 4i. Negative 1 plus 4i. When you add them up together. Negative 1 plus 4i times 2i is going to give me a negative 2i and that's going to become a negative 8. Negative 8 plus 7 or negative 8 minus 2i plus 7 is a negative 1 minus 2i. Negative 1 minus 2i times negative 2i is going to give me a negative 2i. And then 2i times a negative 2i, 2 times negative 2 is a negative 2, i squared is going to give me a negative 1. That's going to give me a positive 4, which now just gives me, leaves me with a negative 2i. Negative 2i times 2i gives me a negative 2i, negative 4i squared, which leaves me with a positive 4. Add them, get a 0. So now you might say, holy crap. So I have my z remainder, constant, linear, uh, quadratic, and cubic. That is still a lot of zeros, right? So what do I do next? Well, same thing. If we know 2i is a 0, then what else has to be a 0? Negative 2i. So I'm going to do the exact same thing now with negative 2i. So I just write in 2, negative 1 plus 4i, negative 1 minus 2i, negative 2i. So again, I bring down the 2. 2 times negative 2i is going to give me um, 2 times negative 2i is going to give me a negative 4i, which just leaves me with a negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2i is just going to give me, leave me with a 2i, so then I have minus 1. And negative 1 times negative 2i, again, is going to leave me with a positive 2i. So now my final remaining equation, remember that's your remainder, 0, constant is negative 1 linear x and quadratic. So I have 2x squared minus 1 minus 1. So now if I want to find the remaining zeros, I need to see, can I you know, factor this out anymore? So you say 2x. And what two numbers multiply to give you negative 1? So it's either going to be plus 1 or minus 1. And we look at this, my middle term has to be a negative, negative, so that's not going to work. How about if I did this? So I do 2x times x is 2x squared. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Uh, negative 1 times 2x is a negative 2x plus 1x. Uh, that's an x, right? x terms. Sorry, forgot a little bit about that. So therefore, my zeros are 2i, negative 2i, 1, and a negative 1 half. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You can just use synthetic division with complex zeros. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks again.